In today's video, I'm gonna give you my opinion about the whole um, blame game that's been going on between Lewis Hamilton and Chase Carey recently regarding cancelling the Australian Grand Prix um, earlier than they did. Lewis Hamilton has said that the um, the Australian Grand Prix should have been cancelled way earlier than what they did. In fact, he actually said, "Why are we here?" Um, and I thought that as well, to be honest. Um, because to be honest with you, I was surprised that there is even a um that that there they was even considering to run it. Um, because. I thought, um, I thought public gathering and everything has, has, have been, um, banned, you know what I mean? But then again, um, up to 500 people, uh, public gatherings are, are alright, I mean, that, that would, that wouldn't have been applicable to, um, F1. Um, however, my argument, my question is, um, not to Formula 1, but to the World Health Organization is, first of all, if Corona, if the coronavirus is so deadly as it, as they make it appear to be, then number one, why did, why was Ferrari, um, allowed to leave Italy, um, including all the, all the people, all the, um, people from, I Fatori and and Haas. Um, number two is because because Italy is supposed to be on, on lockdown. Number two is why are there still flights going in and out of countries anyway? And um, why uh, didn't we? Why didn't the the World Health Organization ban every every um, sports um, event? Full stop. I mean, are they just scaremongering or what? Because um, you know, and on on that respect, I can. Understand Formula One why they didn't uh, why why they took so long is because I think the the World Health Organization isn't isn't um, clear enough you know what I mean um, and I think um, they need to be more clear about the whole situation because um, otherwise I mean who is going to take it serious um, about the whole Corona thing I mean the the fact is that the that the cases in the cases in China are reducing the ca uh, the and um, a lot of the people that are that caught the virus have are actually recovering. So uh, you know, it, it is is Formula One um, really to blame? Uh, I don't think so. Yes, they could have made it earlier, but there was there was still a chance of of uh, running it. Um, you know, I I, I just think uh, it's unfair to blame anyone uh, at this moment because we we don't know. I mean, the only if I was to blame anyone, I would I would blame the World Health Organization for actually um, changing their minds every every um, five minutes because either they're gonna ban uh, traveling or they're not. You know what I mean? If they if they're gonna operate at such um, lockdowns, for example, then they've got to stick to it, and then we wouldn't have the argument that uh, that, that that problem would would. Um, Formula One faced w with all the races because um, then it would be a lockdown for everybody. So uh, I think it was it's unfair of Lou from Louis Hamilton to blame um, to blame uh, Chase Carey. Um, but on the other hand, uh, we shouldn't really blame each other because um, to be to be fair, um, even the people that, uh, in my opinion anyway, even the people that should know uh, don't don't have a clue about what they're doing so uh as far as i'm concerned they should we should just all um uh, be vigilant and uh, get through this um and work together rather than uh, blaming each other uh yes it was unfortunate that the teams have ma had ma have made all the all the uh, all the trip to to uh, australia for it only to be cancelled but uh, you know that it it happened so um, tough luck and I actually think that the event that is meant to be held tomorrow at um, I think um, 6:45 uh, GMT uh, where where um, where Formula One uh, drivers um, compete against the the um, professional gamers I in the in the virtual um, Australian Grand Prix I think that's a good idea so um, you know. I, 
make sure you tune in. I certainly will. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, you know, we just gotta make the best out of the situation. Um, you know, and and we can just ride it out. I reckon. Um, and uh, we shouldn't really. Nobody really should blame anyone for it. Um, I mean, as I said, but I do think the uh, World Health Organization needs to uh, needs to get their um needs to get their facts a bit more straight b- before they actually put it out because uh, I think they're doing a lot of scaremongering to be honest and it, it doesn't help anybody. I mean for example if I if I, I went to my to my doctors yesterday um and um, due to my disability I get a lot of phlegm uh, in my lungs. So in the mornings I cough a lot. So I I went to my doctor and said, Oh um have I got uh, coronavirus because I cough a lot? Um, you know, they said to me, "Oh no, no, it's just because of the phlegm." And uh, don't worry. Um, so, so you know, you know, and I think that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Is every is everybody gonna go go to the NHS or the um, wherever they are in the world? Gonna go to the doctors and uh, ask them, "Have I got corona?" Just oh, I think of the coronavirus just because of a bit of a cough. You know? I mean, I think um, it's not fair on on it's it's not helping anyone. I think um, the World Health Organization needs to uh, get their act together and um, rather than scaremongering, actually trying to trying to get this this uh, uh, pandemic under control, rather than uh, rather than actually give out uh, half baked updates every. I don't know, every hour or something, you know what I mean? Because it doesn't help anyone. So anyway, th- this is my rent over. Anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers for listening. I'm out of here. Bye.